When I first started in real estate, I remember there were so often times where I didn't know where to turn to when I had questions. And a lot of the times to be able to speak to the broker on record, it would take me days to hear from them because I was working at a little franchise company. And when I needed my mentors the most late night, they weren't available. So I had to go out and find answers on my own. But it was a good thing because it led me to find this really incredible tool that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. So I'm Cynthia Peterson with EXP Realty, and I'm here to make your life just a little bit easier by showing you tools and techniques that you can use to get ahead in real estate. So for today, we're going to be going over Forms Advisor and Forms Tutor on the California Association of Realtors webpage. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, perfect. So you'll want to go ahead and get the CAR, California Association of Realtors, webpage pulled up just like I have here. You're going to find these two tools, the Forms Advisor and Forms Tutor in two different locations. Um, and there's so many tools in this website itself that I would highly advise that you guys get in the hang of just poking around at every one of these buttons, find out what they do, find out how they're going to help you because each one is going to take you to see different things. So make sure that you work yourself around this website so that you can get familiar with it. So what we're going to do first is once you're logged in, so see, I'm already logged in over here. Once you're logged in, go ahead and up here, go to the transaction center Perfect. And then down here, see where it says forms advisors and forms tutor. We'll go ahead and click on that. And there we go. Cool. So forms advisor, that's going to be this first one. It's really cool. It's basically tools that will help you. Uh, it's like a roadmap. It'll ask you questions and then it'll help you figure out where you're going next. And then the form tutors tool is a really cool training tool that is going to show you each commonly used form and what each form means and does. So first we're going to start with the forms advisor and there is a user guide. So be sure to, after the video, check out the user guide for both forms advisor and forms tutor below right here. All right. We're going to hit the forms advisor. And it's going to have me log in as it forms. I actually already have this logged in so that I can protect my client's confidentiality. Let's make sure we're not sharing more than we should be. So here we go. We'll change screens. Once you get access back into um, zip forms, you're going to see this screen here. Let me make sure I'm sharing the right screen because last thing I want for you guys to do is be staring at a blank screen. And there we go. Cool. So this is the zip forms first page that you're going to come across. We're going to go right into the transaction tools. And this is where, again, you're going to see forms advisors, forms tutor. We're going to go to the forms advisor first. And here we go. So it will guide you down the path of where you want to be. And what I mean by that is I'll just show you instead of telling you. So we're going to select, there's no file list yet. So we're not going to go into a new file. I'm going to go into create a new file. And we're just going to call this one test one, two, three. And this is what I mean. It's going to take you down this roadmap, right? So it'll ask you first, are you doing buyer or listing? Is it an offer, post-contract, and escrow? So let's just go ahead and pretend we're going to be representing the buyer. And you'll see here, there's different tabs up here. We're just going to quickly go through this. Who do you represent? I'm just going to leave it as buyer exclusively. Are you a member of the MLS? Yes. Are you conforming or changing the comprehensive Compensation promised in the MLS listing. Yes. Is there a co listing? Do two licenses, um, are there two licenses in the same office? This would be like if you've got a partner agent. You want to cancel buyer representation agreement. So you can go through and select these. 
So let's say I'm going to select this. Is there a co-listing or have two brokers agreed to work with the same buyer? Let's select yes and see how it changed it. That's what I mean about it's going to take you down a roadmap. We'll go ahead and accept, or you can restore this to all say no. So we'll go ahead and hit accept. And this is what I mean. It's going to take you down through this guide. Once you answer all these questions, either on the buy side or the listing side, then what it's going to do is it's going to create a brand new transaction for you within zip forms. So by asking you all these little questions, it's building out your file in zip forms. But please make sure to go through that file really thoroughly and make sure that each of your local addendums is in there. Um, just as an example, the East Bay has different addendums here. So I want to make sure that those are in there. So just make sure that you're not fully trusting that tool. It's simply a tool to get you started, right? But the one I'm really excited about to show you guys is the tutor. So let me pull that back up here. So I'm just going back to zip forms where we were before. I'm going to go to transaction tools and then we'll check out the tutor this time. Now, this is actually going to bring me back to that CAR, California Association of Realtors website. And then now we're going to go down to the second part, the forms tutor. I love this tool, you guys. Not only should we be aware of what the forms mean and say, but we need to be able to eloquently describe them to our clients, right? That's just what this does. And I'm super paranoid about not showing the right screen because <laughs> I've done that before and don't want to do it again. Okay, here we go. So here we go. Forms tutor. Let's just start out with the first one here. Uh, on our team, we do a lot of partnerships. So we'll just open up the additional agement acknowledgement. And I'm going to zoom out for you guys so you can see a little bit more in depth. So you see these little blue bubbles here. And there, these are incredible. So I'll just click on this first one and it'll tell me what this form is, what it means. But here's the really cool thing. It also has an audio feature. Additional agent acknowledgement, AAA, in the real estate broker section. Of so you can go through and have it explain to you what these forms mean so that if you're writing up a late night offer and you don't exactly remember how this is supposed to be filled out, you can go back through here and get advice uh, just by finding out what these forms mean, right? Paragraph 2C and 3. Up to five licensees that all work I'm under kidding. the same broker who are working together on behalf of the same buyer or seller principal can sign. Okay. So the reason that these two tools, the Forms Advisor and Forms Tutor are critical, again, it's not to get you to a point where, okay, cool, I'm going to trust this product, we're good to go. No, it's just to get you started, just to get you ahead. So what I would do if I were a new agent, I would go through each of the most commonly used forms. And I would click these little blue buttons throughout so that I can teach myself how to use these forms. Um, and truly, there is no better advice than a broker at your company. So for us at EXP, um, we have a broker that basically is on the clock 24-7 through our broker room. Um, but I know that when I first started, it was really, really hard to be able to get in touch with a broker. Make sure you've got a mentor that knows that, hey, I may need help writing up this offer. The more lead time you can give them, the better. And as a new agent, those first three transactions are so critical. Ask questions. Um, if you don't have a mentor that you're already set up with, go network and find that mentor. Because as great as Forms Tutor and Forms Advisor are, nothing beats having an experienced agent explain these to you so that you can explain them to your clients. Hope you found this helpful. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe.